Once you understand the basics of Drupal's theming, it can be a very straightforward process to assemble your, your Drupal theme. And in the same way as web design itself, uh, where you're finding the right CSS and, and assigning the CSS to the right selectors and, and, and setting up the right uh, uh, values for your CSS uh, attributes, uh, you just need to find the right variables for Drupal and put them into the right template files. Oftentimes you need to create these template files, uh, but it can be very rewarding once you get everything working. Let's take a look at the files that we've created uh, and see what we've done. We started with our .info file, which exposes our theme to Drupal and sets up some basic information like which style sheets we'll be using, the block regions that we'll have available, and the JavaScript that we're going to use. From there, we created a page tpl.php file, which gives the basic structure for our pages, from the opening HTML tag to the close. From there, we drill down to individual nodes, defining how each post should be laid out. Finally, we looked at the fact that we can do this on an individual per node type basis. Let's flip over and see how it looks. As you can see, we have a very nice looking site, fully populated with Drupal blocks, nodes, and other dynamic bits of information. If we flip quickly to our reference design, we'll notice that there are a few things still missing. If we look at an individual post, we see we haven't yet done this calendar style date display. We also aren't using full names, for the usernames. And finally, up in this search box, the original design called for an image button with a magnifying glass. So in our theme, while we were very able to get very close to the original design, there's still a few bits missing. We'll be looking at that in our advanced theming video as we dive even deeper into the theming system. The Drupal theming basics have gotten us most of the way there in realizing this template for our website. Uh, however, if we understand more advanced features like uh, preprocess functions and the ability to add more variables to our, our theme templates, um, the ability to add more templates to our theme, and uh, the ability to do things like uh, override the way that forms output, uh, we'll have complete control over everything in our theme. Uh, this is really powerful stuff. We've gotten most of the way there with these, these basics, but we're going to get into the more advanced things where you can really control everything in our advanced theming video.